Hello beauties! Welcome back to my video diary. Today let's talk about soul alignment. So this is something that my teachers have been talking about forever. I have listened to many many teachers in many different ways talk about how important it is to take time to do my spiritual practices in the mornings. And I have watched myself struggle with this over and over, getting up, being determined to spend time on my spiritual practice, and then somehow begin to feel like there isn't time for me to light the candles on my altar. There isn't time for me to drop into a meditation and connect with my soul. I don't have time to speak to the goddess or to pray to God or whatever it might be that my spiritual need is asking for. There's not time to go on a walk. I have things to do. My email is calling me and as a, as a I just got a ding on my phone and I need to pay attention to that. And what happens when I believe those stories and believe that line of thinking is that I don't take time to get into alignment with my deepest self, my deepest truth. And I was reading something this weekend that just landed so deeply for me that summed up everything that I've heard my teachers talking about. And I've been working on this all summer long, really aligning to a more clear vibration related to my soul and my soul work in the world. And it helped me understand what I was reading that if I don't take the time to get in alignment with myself first before I act, largely those actions are not coming from my spirit, especially when it's coming from that place of lack, that there isn't enough time. Why isn't there enough time? Because I've got to make something happen. i got to get out there and get myself in front of the world. I've got to make some money. I've got to uh, share my offerings. I've got to deal with the goals, financial goals that I have in my life. And it was so clear when I could see that those fears of not having enough time, not having enough money, not having enough uh, influence in the world, not having enough recognition, whatever it might be, not being seen, that those things actually have me doing work from fear. And everything I create from fear is just busyness. It's just busy work so that I can feel good about myself, that I'm doing my part, so that I can tap into that construct that says, well, I'm earning my money. I'm earning my reward because look how busy I am. I'm so busy, it should be coming back. And as soon as I saw that, that what I was doing was a bunch of busy stuff, it made sense to me why very often it feels like the kind of return for the amount of time and energy I'm investing isn't, isn't accurate, isn't what it should be. And it helped me see how critically important it is to know that there isn't time for anything else until I first take time for my practice, until I first connect with myself, with my soul, with spirit. Like it seems so obvious to me now, of course, like why would I do anything else before I take the time to actually align with myself? And in doing so, that helps me be in a place of discernment around what actions and activities are actually important to do, which are really going to make a difference, which are the ones that give joy and provide a sense of joy for me as I'm doing those things, which are the signposts on the path that are coming from guidance, coming from my spirit, from my soul, as opposed to coming from my mental thought processes and my ego's need to feel safe and to feel held and to feel like I'm earning and doing the things that I need to be doing. It also connects to that good girl part of me of being able to point to all the things that I've done. See, 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 I'm doing my part and being a good girl. Am I not going to get now those things that I want and need in my life? I've really gotten it on a very deep soul level. I beg you <laughs> to experiment with taking the time 
for yourself every day before you take action on your life in your business with an important decision drop in first however long it takes for you to get connected I've made that commitment to myself now if it takes me one hour two hours three hours or all day if I need to devote a day to getting realigned and recentered back in touch with my soul then that's what I'll be doing I no longer am going to do busy work so that I can feel like I'm doing something in order to make things happen. The something I'm going to be choosing from now on, this is my commitment, is to be in self-care and to be in connection with spirit and start at the level of spirit first. So if you needed permission for that today, if that is the thing that your soul was asking for and that's why you landed here on my video diary today, I give you permission, my dear, to put your soul work first and your spiritual connection first and your self-care first, knowing and trusting that everything that you create from that place will be divinely inspired and infinitely useful and meaningful and healthy in the world. That's it for today. See you next time.